going for my fingers here. This is an aggressive rat. Ah! You see that? He bit my glove. Well, that is the sound of a horror movie. This rat wants to bite me. It's very large and aggressive. Today for Mouse Trap Monday, I'm going to show you how we caught this non-native invasive brown rat using a member of its own species as a traitor. We used a Judas rat trap to draw on this rat and catch it. Now I got this idea for a Judas rat trap based on some of the efforts they're doing down in New Zealand to deal with this invasive rodent. They tried them down there and they say it worked better than using bait. These rats are so smart and they like to avoid traps, but they're also very social. That's their weakness. If you have a member of their own species in there, they'll be drawn in, they're curious, and then they get caught. Now in a recent video, I went to the pet store and I bought two rats for this video. We named them Judas and Judy. And I showed you step by step how I make their cage and take care of them. And they're the ones that helped us catch this wild rat. I'm gonna turn this into the new Judas and set up a kill trap version. Here I used a live catch version. And I'm gonna use one of the most powerful rat traps I've ever seen. It comes from New Zealand and it's called the DOC 150. This thing is so powerful with those springs, it could easily break your fingers. On the side it says this trap passes humane kill under the NAWAC guidelines. That must mean that this trap is so powerful it instantly kills the animals. They don't mess around. They don't want a weak trap. They want it to grab that rat and instantly crush it. To set it you need two hands. You pull up on this. This is a lot of effort. Put this up. Uh, I'm having a little problem with it getting set just like that. Okay, like I said, that takes a lot of strength. That spring is so powerful. This stuffed animal kind of looks like Judy, our white pet rat, but they'll come along and this pad is very large, but as soon as they step on it, oh man, it grabs them and there's no chance of escape. Those springs are way too powerful in my opinion. It makes it pretty dangerous, but if you want an effective trap, this is the trap for you. Now rats are so smart and notorious for avoiding traps like this. I'm really curious how willing they'll be to step on that trigger to get to their new Judas friend. But first I have to build a box both for the pet rat and for the trap. So here's all the pieces I cut on the table saw to make our trap. It consists of two components. First the cage for our pet rat and also a side unit for the trap. So I'll just screw these together and show you how our trap works. So I've completed the pet rat part of the trap. They'll go in here, there's a water bottle for them to drink and a latch so they can't escape. But now I need to build a part that fits the trap in the front. Here's the completed Judas rat trap. It was a lot of fun making this and I think it's gonna work well. We have the trap box with a lid that opens. There's walls, a screen in back to keep the rats from getting to my pet rats, a screen on top, and right here is where you place the trap. There's a divider so the rat that enters has to step on the trigger and it's gonna get caught. It can't get to our pet rats, which live back here in this box. Once it's set, we'll place this box over it, open up the lid, put our rats in there with some bedding, water, and food. They'll be comfortable, we'll lock it in place, any wild rat that tries to get them enters and it's going to get caught. Now the first night, I'm not going to set this up with the kill trap. Instead, I made a live catch option. We'll pull this out and replace it with this live trap. It fits perfectly in there. We'll lift up the door. There's a hook attached to a pedal. The rat will enter, step on that, and when it does, it's caught. So here's our pet rat, Judy. She's actually pregnant and getting pretty big. That should draw on the wild males. We'll place her in the box. And to represent a wild rat, we'll use Judas. He's the father. They'll be drawn, go inside. And when they step on that pad, they're gonna get caught. Let's go set up the motion cameras and try to catch a wild rat with the Judas rat trap.
Well, here's the results in the daytime. You can see this pack rat looks very different. It has larger ears, that's the dead giveaway, longer whiskers, a white belly, and a long bushy tail. Now this is a native species that's part of the natural ecosystem, so I'm not gonna kill it. Instead, I'm gonna take it out in the wild and set it free. Then we're gonna try to catch that non-native invasive brown rat. Okay, even though this wasn't the rat we wanted to catch, it's still good to get it out of my shed. Come on, pack rat. Now let's try the Judas trap again to see if we can catch the brown rat. Well, last night our Judas trap worked well. Judy here is happy, she's in her cage, and this wild nasty rat, it's the same species, but acts very differently. He's not happy. You can hear him squeaking and he tries to attack the cage. Now I'm gonna set this up again with the kill trap version, but I'm gonna use this rat now as our Judas rat. I'm gonna put our pet rat back in her cage and he's gonna be in the cage to draw on his friends and we'll get a snap. Okay, now I have to set this crazy trap again this thing is way too powerful. Definitely overkill. It takes both hands. And watch those fingers. Okay, that thing is set. I'll carefully place it in the back. We'll fold down the door. Place it in our Judas cage. Now we're all ready to set it up and try to get a rat, just like this. The wild rat's gonna wanna meet Judas, enter the trap, step on that trigger, it's very sensitive, and when it does, this will jolt. So powerful. As we take that off, you can see a dead rat. Now probably the most difficult thing I'm gonna have to do is transfer this rat to our Judas cage, and this rat would like nothing more than to bite my fingers. So what I'm gonna do is empty the rat into a large garbage can and then with gloves, try to pick it up and put it inside our Judas cage. Then we can set up the snap trap and start catching more rats. But I'm gonna have to be very careful. If this escapes, that will be a bummer, but it'll be a bigger bummer if I get bit. I've been bitten before on the finger by rodents and I had to go to the emergency room and get such a nasty infection. These gloves won't provide very much protection, but a little. Let's see if we can transfer this wild Judas rat. Okay, I'll start by opening the door and trying to get the rat down in the bottom where I can grab it. There we go, this is gonna be tricky. Nice. It's going for my fingers here. This is an aggressive rat. Ah! You see that? He bit my glove. I'm gonna try to get it inside the cage again. I gotta find the tail. Ha ha! We got it. Now that we got the wild Judas rat without getting bit, we'll set our crazy powerful trap. Place it in the box. Now let's go set up the motion cameras and see if we can catch a rat with our wild Judas rat trap.
Well, that DOC 150 trap is so powerful. Last night, a rat wanted to meet Judas, went inside, stepped on a trigger, and it slammed down. This trap is so effective for catching rats because they're social. Sometimes they'll avoid traps with bait, but when you have a live rat in there, they want to go in and they get caught. There's quite a few rats and I have a lot more trapping to do, so I'm going to keep setting this up. But I really enjoy testing out different methods and strategies for catching rodents. Now stay tuned because very soon I have some brand new rat and mouse traps never seen before that are simply amazing and we're going to catch a ton of rodents. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 900 videos on YouTube and recently I changed my video posting schedule. Now I'm just posting once a week a longer video on Mondays. Now I don't want the rat we caught to go to waste so I'm going to end the video by feeding it to wild animals. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what comes along and enjoys a rat caught with the Judas rat trap.